Welcome back to the second of two videos on how to use Book Creator from grades primary all the way up to grade 12 to create books, comics, and newspapers. So we've gone over the newspaper articles, now I'm going to go over comics. So you come up to the top once you've already signed in. If you didn't do that, you can refer to the other video or you can create a free account. Make sure you click on teacher for that. Come over here and once you have that set up, you're gonna sign in to Book Creator, who works with a Chromebook as well as an iPad. There is an iPad app, however, it does work on the browser. So we're gonna come in here, we're gonna create a new book. I'm gonna to go to comic. And the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm going to select my panels. I'm going to create two panels for this. Now I'm gonna come over to the eye and I'm gonna pick something bright. So I'm gonna pick this. Now I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna add an image into my first panel. So you can go to images here. It's not as complete as a Google image search, but I'm gonna put at man and I'm gonna select this image. So it automatically sizes it for you and puts it in there. So there is no, uh, there's no extra step there. And what I'm gonna do is I'm going to put a speech bubble. So I'm going to make it smaller and I'm just gonna put hello everyone in there. Now, what I'm gonna do is you could come over and you can put up just text, you can go to a thought bubble, or you can add some stickers like a comic would have. So I'm going to put, wow. So I'm gonna put that over here. I can tilt it, make it smaller, make it bigger, and so on. The next one, you can come down again and you can add an image or you can take an image that um, you would like, like a drawing, or a picture of yourself to make a comic about. Um, anything you want to make comics there, you can go to a separate page. And if this is what you do if you were making a book, you would have your cover. And then each page you add would be a page of the book. Um, once you're done with that, so we're just gonna finish that off, you can have it read to you as well if you wanted to click the play button. So I'm gonna go back to my books. Now if I want to share it with somebody, I can go down here and I can print it or I can download it as an ebook and share it that way with other students or share it with your teacher. Um, if you want to delete a book down here, you can come and you can click go delete book. You can make a copy of a book or you can move it over to your library or you can import a book. So the possibilities are, uh, are endless what you can use book creator for. And as you can see, it's super quick, super easy for students. Um, so if you need any help with it, reach out to me at james at gnu.ca. So that's james at gnu.ca. As well, if you would like me to help you with this with your class, I'm open to team teaching with your class and I can introduce Book Creator uh, with you in, in your Google Meet or um, once we're back to school in September, if you want to invite me to your class, I'm more than happy to help support this with your students. Stay safe, everyone, and thanks for watching.